Hi everybody, Idaho Amy here, and I just want to show you my latest paper bag album kit that I made for my uh, shop on eBay. Um, I'm shipping this in an envelope, um, a craft envelope, so um, I had to cut some of the papers down so it would fit inside, so um, I left the pieces as big as possible, um, just because I wasn't sure what you wanted the item or the paper for, but... Um, Anyway, hopefully um, I don't cut up anything that anybody wants. Um, I have eight pieces of ribbon here in different colors, um, shades of turquoise and brown, and there's a off-white and a black piece as well. Um, you get the paper bag album with the binder rings in it. There's four bags, and um, I just feel that four bags um, makes it perfect. By the time you start adding papers to it and um, inserting things in the inside, really four bags is plenty. Um, I'm also including four of each color of cardstock. Um, we have brown, burgundy, yellow, black, and turquoise. So on all of those colors you get four um, six by six sheets of paper, um, some Tim Holtz added tickets. Uh, some of my paper grunge flowers that I make, and uh, some button centers. Then also you get four of six by six of this pattern paper, uh, four of this pattern paper, and this is all from the Steampunk Debutante collection. Uh, four of the roses. And on this one, I was only able to get two six by six pieces. And um, I'll show you the other pieces later. I just didn't want to cut too much of the pattern of picture off. And this one also, I was only able to get three pieces because um, I just did not want to cut her face up. So um, in order not to do that, I was only able to cut uh, three pieces out of that one. Um, you'll also get my earrings that I make that um, have the little steampunk girl in them on a tag. And um, here are some of the images from the collection, and I'm dropping them on the floor. There's that one. And this is the one that I used to make those earrings with. And um, let me grab the one that I dropped in the floor. Love how that always happens when you're trying to do something on camera. So there's those. And then um, all of these are also um, double-sided. But, I mean, really, who wouldn't want to use that side? They should just do this that side plain, but, I um, you know. Anyway, here's the, um, the rest of them. Let's see. And those are double-sided also. Um, there's big one. See, that's about as big as I can get to fit in the envelope without hurting the the pictures. So, but I left them as big as I could. And then here's, um, I am including all the little scrap pieces I had to cut off so they would fit. Because um, you never know, you might want to use it on something. Another little scrap. And this one, I left the pieces as big as possible. But I had to cut it down somehow to fit. And um, I cut this image out of the center because I thought it was kind of like the center point of that page. So that one's already cut out and ready to put on a page. Here's some other pieces. And then here's the man that I tried not to cut up, but I ended up having to cut his feet off. But anyway, there's that piece. And then you'll also get all the tags and frames from that collection. Um, and I did cut them down, but I didn't cut them. They're still on the sheet. Um, they're just cut so they'll fit in the envelope. But anyway, I just love this line. I think it's beautiful, and um, I think it'll make a really fun scrapbook. And uh, I hope you like it, and I hope everyone bids on it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye.